this is a very interesting topic that is uh, emerging trends in object or human recognition now today we are living in the world of omnipresent computing means computer is directly or indirectly present everywhere wherein we are surrounded by computers and uh, sensing devices through the physical environment throughout the physical environment now computers doesn't just mean that uh, the laptop or personal computer but uh, in all the devices which are working with the help of computer even mobile phone is known as a type of computer so we are surrounded by it it's very necessary to learn the following things now the three interesting topics which we are going to learn are first one is rfid have you heard the name of rfid the full form is radio frequency identification next one is biometrics which we all are familiar with in taking a attendance we have got uh, biometrics right we can just show our face or so or uh, with the help of thumb impression the attendance could be taken then this also you are known with this word gps global positioning system in our mobile phone we have got the application such as map or the facility known as location through which we can come to know exactly where we are right fine so first from this three things we start with rfid radio frequency identification this is the symbol of rfid now here we can uh, categorize the rfid into this many things that is uh, tag of transponder antenna reader or interrogator and computer now before i teach you anything further i will just like to give you an example of rfid now in our uh, vehicles in our four wheelers from uh, last few months we are using fast tag am i right so what is that fast tag <coughs> it is a rfid tag as soon as your car passes through the toll okay your money toll tax will be deducted straight away from your account okay so that means as soon as this transponder tag comes in the touch of this antenna the message is sent to the reader and then it is sent to the computer and then the necessary action is been taken this is a very nice thing you will still learn more about it one of the most commonly used technology for identification and tracking of objects used in the market is rfid now rfid is not only used in fast tag but it is used in so many things so we will see it one by one it consists of three parts just now as we have seen antenna trans receiver and transponder now first thing is antenna this is the diagram uh, sorry the image of an antenna the antenna is used to generate radio frequency signals with a relatively short range now you can set the range also over here for example just now we were discussing about uh, to, uh, collecting toll tax through fast tag right then the range of that antenna will be only if the car passes through that uh, Uh, gate then it will be uh, the signal will be caught the range is from 10 cm up to 20 200 meters just try to think it could be as uh, small as 10 cm also or as big as even 200 meters the antenna may be handheld or could be fixed 
and uh, virtually can be mounted on any surface from a computer to the wall. So, the antenna could be handheld also. Generally, whenever we go to purchase anything in the market, the storekeeper has got the uh, this thing barcode reader right through which he which is a handheld device like that way here also antenna could be handheld or it could be fixed on any surface. Now, we come to the next thing and that is trans receiver you can see the image of that small chip here. Now, this is the image of a handheld thing the trans receiver reads the radio frequency signal and transfers the information to a processing device generally a radio frequency reader. So, this is a radio frequency reader it simply works as a decoder to interpret the data that is stored in the transponder. Now, this is a transponder. So, the transponder is the RFID tag that is attached on the object. The tag is a programmed microchip which can store up to 2000 bytes or less that is nearly say you, it, you can store the data up to 2 MB. Tags can be active or passive there are two types of tags that we will learn just now active active and passive active which requires battery and passive it does not require battery. The passive tag do not require a battery the active tag comes along with the air battery working now how does the thing work the transmission of data from RFID tag happens only when the tag passes through the field of the scanning antenna. The tag then detects the activation signal from the antenna this activates the RFID tag and it transmits the information on its microchip to be picked up by the scanning antenna <coughs> uses just now I told you it is used in uh, so many things for tracking parts in manufacturing industries. Now, there are very costly and important parts ok. So, if you want to track them then you can use this device. Then for tracking purchases of customers in shopping mall. Now, if you try to compare it with the present technology of barcode and barcode reader ok you fill it is very fast instead of manually preparing the bill and uh, updating the register this technology is very fast right. But here suppose if you have purchased 100 items from a mall ok from a shopping mall 100 items are lying in your cart then the storekeeper will scan one by one item and then prepare the bill while here you if you use if this technology is used then you have to just pass with that 100 items from under the uh, uh, under the gate in which antenna is been fixed. So, automatically bill will be generated. So, the things become very fast it is also used for animal tracking in farm management. <coughs> a small chip could be attached on the ears or some that part of the animal and after that that animal could be tracked. Then it is also used in the libraries instead of preparing the manual registers and making the entry and everything this technology could be used. It is used in supermarkets and used in many more things. Now, this is the example which I had given you fast tag. So, here you can see this uh, fast tag then the antenna is kept here and inside in the computer the thing is entry has been done. Then latest example of RFID system 
is introduced is uh, introduction of fast tag by central government of india adoption of fast tag by vehicle owner will be beneficial to them in the following ways avoiding long waiting in the queue at highway toll plaza right just now you have to wait so long one by one he will collect the money from you and uh, give the receipt and those all things then next thing savage of fuel by avoiding time waste in the queue <coughs> then theft protection of vehicle that is uh, i think you may be knowing about this thing also now this is a, a vehicle sanitary by enapex complex for vehicle movement tracking now used in animal tracking first we will see this point animal tracking has been one of the earliest application of rfid the livestock are considered as the assets to the owners as they are constantly moving it becomes difficult to manage large herds rfid technology is used to track such constantly moving herds they are attached onto a livestock in the form of earring neck belt etc once installed this tags enables the recording and the tracking of the individual animals you can see the example of rfid tag it is attached on the ear of this animal then rfid in the library right so here the tagging is done you can see this process then as soon as the person goes out with the book self check in and check out will be done here also the movements everything will be self management and when you have to return the book you have to drop it into the book drop thing so it also provides anti theft detection then rfid in libraries uh, rfid technology is used in libraries nowadays it is used in library for tracking movements of the book and theft detection the rfid based library system consists of smart rfid labels used instead of the normal barcodes the rfid reader and library management software using such a system allows the libraries to manage their day by day to day activities more effectively use of rfid in supermarket that i already explained you right here when you pass with the cart whatever items you have added to the cart through this uh, antenna it will be straight away get recorded and the bill will be generated most of us at some point have gone to the supermarkets many people visit such places for buying products you must have observed that at the exit gates of such supermarket you are able to hear a beep sound the security mechanism is used to stop the theft of products the products contains an rfid tag which is generally removed by the person who generates the bill now do you remember this thing suppose even if you purchase a, mostly this rfid tag is present in the clothing <coughs> if you purchase a shirt then with this shirt you will see a, a big uh, a circular shape thing okay and uh, this shopkeeper when he prepares the bill at that time with the help of magnet he removes that thing if that thing is not removed and if you go with the shirt or the any of the clothes in which that thing is attached then the it will give a beep sound in case the he forgets to remove the tag or someone tries to take the things forcibly the alarm will be raised then we'll see <coughs> what was its usage in the history in 2008 beijing summer olympia olympic games rfid technology was used for high tech ticketing and food tracking rfid enabled tickets in beijing games were 
intended to battle the counterfeiting of tickets to provide speedy entry to for visitors at avenue gate at venue gates and to guard against the unauthorized access to specific areas of the olympics compound this is the image of rfid ticket of olympics now next topic which we are going to cover in the next video will be biometrics that is also a very interesting topic so this video we complete over here thank you